ready with me hair plus outfit edition so I asked you guys on Twitter what you guys would like to see as far as like a new hair video and y'all were like throwing an outfit too so I was like hell yeah I just filmed a makeup tutorial for this look it's a talk through in-depth tutorial from literally start to finish so that's the that on this uh, on this um and this actually is a frontal wig. It's Eunice hair. I only wear Eunice hair. And Lace by Mo installed it. She is a stylist based in Memphis and she travels to Dallas. And I have a video of her installing this frontal wig for me, but it's on its last leg. I'm actually getting my hair done today. Um, so I'm just showing you guys how I style this. Um, and then I'll be taking it down for my appointment. To start off, I just sprayed some got to be because I want the lace to really lay down. And in order for it to do so, I have to spray some got to be before I can go in and like lay the baby hairs. While I work all of this in, what I wanted to talk about today is more of like a girl chat. I wanted to talk about confidence and um being comfortable alone not being lonely you know but just being comfortable in your own presence self-love and acceptance so um the first thing that i wanted to touch on is like a lot of us use very um a lot of us use very self-deprecating language we speak very negatively about ourselves and even in a joking manner, it's still not okay. A lot of the times, um, whatever it is that you're struggling with or whatever it is that you're not like the most confident in, that's where the self-deprecating language comes through. Like if you have acne, you know, you'll say something about, you'll make jokes about your skin. Um, if you are overweight or underweight, you'll make jokes about your size. If you have scars, you'll make jokes, you know, about your scars. And a lot of the times, like, we shouldn't be talking about ourselves in a negative light like that. Of course, you have to accept yourself. And if you are a believer, you can change what it is that you don't like about yourself. Um, and by a believer, I mean, like, if you believe in plastic surgery, there are some people who are just like, I don't like this about myself, but I don't believe in plastic surgery, so I'm not going to change it. And you have every right, you know, to believe that way and operate that way. There are some people who are just like, I can't afford plastic surgery right now, but when I can, that's the route I'm going. That's cool. You know, do whatever like works for you and makes you the happiest. But just understand that like you need positive self-talk, like you need to find something about yourself that you really, really admire, that you really, really love, and um, just like play on that. For me, the one thing about myself that I really, really admire and that I really, really love is my smile. That's like the one thing that I really love about myself. I also love my body shape. I love the way clothes look on me. Um, I love the way clothes fit. I'm not a huge fan of bathing suits. I'm just, I never have been. I don't know what it is with me in bathing suits, but me not being a huge fan of bathing suits just means you don't see me wearing a lot of bathing suits. Um, but that's, this is, you know, an easy fix right there. But when you do see me wearing bathing suits, like I'm, I'm not, you know, wearing like long sleeve shorts. I mean, <laughs> Lots of shorts. I'm not wearing like long pants and I'm not wearing like a full body 
bathing suit, you know, I'm still gonna wear a bathing suit. Like I accept my body the way that it looks and I love the way, you know, clothes fit on me, especially certain clothes. There are clothes that I really, really like to wear. Um, but I'm also like self-aware and like realistic, you know, I don't absolutely positively adore everything. But the things that I do adore, I like to play them up. And um, I'm grateful for them. Like, I'm grateful for my body shape. And to kind of, like, show that, I've been um, incorporating, like, more healthy eating. And I've been working out. I've been, like, training with um, a trainer. And I've been going to, like, buddy training. So it's not just me. It's me and a friend. So that just gives me, like, you know the motivation to to go in and do my best something else that i love to do is compliment other women oh my gosh like i love well men too like i love to tell men that they smell good or that i like their haircut and stuff like that but mostly i'm like pouring into other women like oh girl i love your hair i love this outfit what perfume are you wearing you smell absolutely amazing like i love to pour into other women and just really compliment other women and you know like you love it too like you'll be out and a woman will come up to you and be like i love your outfit and you're like thank you like it's just it makes you so happy and it just makes you like really smile and stuff so when it comes to building your own self-confidence it helps to like add on to other women's self-confidence as well because you would really like the same to be done for you so moving on i wanted to talk about acceptance because listen negativity will affect you you're human and that is okay um it's important to accept how you are um that doesn't mean you can't change it just means you accept how you are where you are you accept the sound of your voice you accept oh sorry you accept the sound of your voice you accept your height you accept your weight you accept how much you eat how little you eat you accept if you go to bed early if you are a night owl like you have to get comfortable with accepting your entire self. Everything from the good, the bad, the ugly. Because um, while negativity will affect you, what really triggers you is like shame. A lot of times if you're ashamed of your skin, if you're ashamed of your weight, if you're excuse me, I'm sorry, if you're ashamed of your height, if you feel any shame associated with like anything um, like physical or personality wise, people are going to attack you there. They're going to bully you. They're going to pick on you. They're going to constantly bring it up there. That's what they're going to use to like shoot you and attack you right there all the time. That's going to be their go-to. And if you don't have any shame associated with it, and if you don't internalize what they're saying, then it makes it so much easier to not saying that the negativity won't affect you, but to override there we go there we go make sure that you're programmed to override the negativity that is like geared towards you so that you don't internalize it and you don't start believing what it is that they're saying about you because what good does it do for you to um sorry i'm talking more more getting ready less talking what good does it do for you to like internalize what they're saying about you and like they're against you and you're against yourself who's taking up for you who's fighting for you who's defending you who's telling you like no that's not true you know what i'm saying hold on let me plug my flat iron in this is the best i could do with the baby hairs y'all for for today like this is literally the best i could do i'm telling you it's on its last leg but just know that comparison is truly the thief of joy i say this all the time um I think like in every chit chat, I say comparison is the, the thief of joy, but it is not just because, you know, you could never be that person and that person could never be you. But when you are comparing yourself to somebody else, essentially your brain can kind of trick you into feeling like you have to talk like that person, walk like that person, think like that person, dress like that person, eat what the person eats and sleep when the person sleeps. You have to do what that person does behave like that person and even 
in a creepy kind of way try to think like that person like what would this person do in order to reap the same benefits that that person has reaped a lot of the times you're comparing yourself to people that you feel are more attractive than you people that you feel are smarter than you more successful than you um in in just a different position in life than you sometimes they're older than you um sometimes they've accomplished more than you have and you're comparing yourself to them and you're thinking that okay if i adopt if i get to know them whether it's digitally like through instagram or through youtube or through twitter um or if i reach out to them personally if they go to like my college or my school or they work with me or whatever the case may be if i get to know them and then i become them then i get what they have and that's not true whatever you have um is for you and then whatever you have in store that's for you too you may not even want what it is that they actually have because you're not aware of what it comes with like everything that everyone has comes with something like you may want this specific kind of car but you're not aware of how much it costs each month for that car you may want to live in a specific kind of place but you're not aware of how much it costs to live in that place who's to say that if you were to stick to your own path you would even want to live in that place like what if this person that you are comparing yourself to has this beautiful place but they don't they don't really travel they don't really get out much and you are destined to live a life where you are constantly going and seeing the most beautiful places in the world who really cares about that beautiful place that 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 other person is living in when you get to see the world you know um so things are going to just look differently for everybody so there's really no need to compare and anything that anybody has doesn't take away um or prevent you from having it as well if that makes sense so like if somebody else is really like strikingly beautiful does that mean you're not beautiful at all no it just means that they're strikingly beautiful so just understanding just understanding that you know also with acceptance just making sure that you're humble and you're self-aware being humble being self-aware it makes you beautiful on the inside and i'm not saying that you're never going to make a mistake you're never going to gossip you're never going to have a misstep you're never going to be the problem like i'm not saying that but be humble enough to know what you've contributed ouch my forehead okay cool i was just gonna burn my forehead off be humble enough be um humble and self-aware enough to know what you've contributed to a situation be humble and self-aware enough to take accountability take responsibility to apologize when need be um just know that like being a really authentic and really genuine person and beautiful person on the inside is is going to reflect on the outside regardless of how you feel about yourself of course you have to accept yourself but being ugly both on the inside and feeling ugly on the outside isn't going to serve you so really be like be genuine be pure it's kind of hard if you like are a narcissist but otherwise you can be a very good person and in terms of like people will you know try to poke and prod at you it could be for various different reasons. Sometimes people poke at other people just because of a projection of how they feel about themselves. Like some people are, well, whenever you're like jealous of somebody, whenever you're speaking very negatively about somebody and they're, they're someone who's doing better than you, a lot of times that person is a mirror and you may feel like, you possess the same qualities or even better qualities than that person and you're not sure why they got the job why they got that man why they got that house why they got that car why they have success why they why they have friends like you may not understand why they have what they have because you feel like you possess better qualities than them you feel like you're a better person than them you feel like you deserve it and they don't whatever you know the case may be that's like that all falls under the umbrella of jealousy um but really that person is literally just a mirror for you and it's showing you whatever bothers you about them is a trigger it's something that you don't like about yourself it's something that you lack within yourself it's something it boils down to you and that's where um humility and self-awareness really comes in it allows you to see like 
okay, let me redirect this energy because it's not serving me and it's definitely not serving this person, especially if that person is a friend of yours um, or somebody that you're trying to develop a connection with. Oprah said it best, like you can't be friends with somebody who wants your life and you can't go around like wanting people's lives. It's okay to be inspired and to be motivated, but you have to have enough confidence within yourself to know that like you're good like you are a good person you are a beautiful person you are worthy you are valuable you have to know that you have to know that there aren't people walking around on this earth that are better than you um there aren't people walking around on this earth who are getting like husbands and kids and houses and cars as rewards really what they're doing that you're not doing is just tapping in you have it you just won't tap into it you want to be inspired you want to be motivated you want to be encouraged you want to be pushed you want to be coddled you want to be babied you want to be constantly like asking questions and, and you want to constantly pick people's brains and you want to constantly develop friendships with people who you feel are better than you and you feel like surrounding yourself with people that are better than you is going to motivate you no you motivate you you don't really believe that you're capable because if you believed you were capable you would put yourself out there who cares what people think you would go for that job who cares if you don't get it you would go apply for that school who cares if you don't get in you apply for something else if you had that motivation within you you would already be doing it you wouldn't be asking a ton of questions you would be doing the research more than you were asking the questions there are people who are like trying to find the resources instead of just doing the research you don't have the confidence in yourself that you need to really take the stairs which is why you're trying to run to every possible elevator and when you're trying to be successful when you're trying to achieve your goals very rarely do you come across an elevator if that was the case i think a lot of us would have taken the damn elevator <laughs> be original be authentic what is what is it that you like who are you and if you don't know what you like and if you don't know who you are that's okay too um we're we're young even if you're not young you're not dead so you still have time to get to know yourself you still have time to figure out who you are, what you like, what you don't like. And then once you figure that out, like live in it, accept it and just be proud of it. Like for me, not saying like this is something that I'm super proud of, but it's something that that I accept regardless of, you know, what what is said. I will wear an outfit and people will literally comment and they're like, where's your jewelry? Why don't you wear jewelry? Why don't you wear earrings? There will be people in the comment section that are just like, Ashley doesn't like wearing jewelry. Ashley doesn't like wearing earrings. And people will say, you know, well, why? One of the reasons why is because, you know, a job I used to work at <clears throat> made us wear like three accessories at a time or three or four accessories at a time, something like that. It was really gaudy. I didn't like it. And once I stopped working there, I didn't have to wear accessories. And then I moved on to serving jobs where I couldn't really wear accessories. So I just got, you know, used to not wearing jewelry and now at this point i don't like it <laughs> so it's really not like some super like spiritual in-depth reason but what i can say is like i don't i don't bounce back and forth depending on whether people think i should be wearing jewelry or whether they accept the fact that i'm not wearing jewelry the thing is i let people know that i'm not wearing jewelry and then that's just the end of the story and that's how you need to be about yourself that's just one example for me but like that's how you need to be people are gonna ask you why 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 because we're curious we're humans but just because somebody points something out or says something doesn't mean that like you have to change it you know what i'm saying change whatever it is that you want to change because you want to change it but don't change something because somebody pointed it out i'm sure when cardi b got her teeth fixed she did so partially because she wanted to but it was also partially because people would not let up about her teeth but now her teeth are absolutely beautiful and the thing is when it comes to truly being confident you have to understand that you'll never be enough for everybody 
you'll never be enough for everybody. There are people who think Beyonce is hideous. They think Rihanna is absolutely horrendous in the face. They think that like Carrie Hilson is just absolutely disgusting. They think that these women who meet the societal beauty standards are absolutely just ugly beyond ugly and that may come as a surprise because these are some of the most beautiful women in the world but that just lets you know that you're never going to be everybody's cup of tea you're never going to be everybody's cup of tea you're never going to be enough for everyone and that should tell you right there to stop trying to be enough for everybody. Stop trying to please everybody. You're constantly trying to morph and be different versions of the same person around different people. People should just accept you for who you are. Now, of course, people have like, we all have like bad traits that we want to fix or we have like things in our physical appearance that we want to work on, whether it's losing weight or clearing our skin up or whatever the case, gaining weight or whatever the case may be. But people should still accept you at your core and once you get around people that truly accept you after you accept yourself of course then you'll stop overcompensating a lot of times people are overcompensating because they want to convince people that they are worthy of being affirmed and that they are worthy of validation stop overcompensating you may like i said earlier you may have had a misstep you may have made a mistake you may have spoken out of term but be self-aware and be humble enough to take accountability to take responsibility to apologize when you have to apologize and then don't beat yourself up because beating yourself up making yourself feel like because you made a bad decision or because you you know may have caused a situation that didn't work out in the way that you thought it would now you feel like a bad person you're not a bad person you're not a bad person people who are manipulative are bad people people who use people are bad people people who are abusive are bad people there are so many different traits of who is a bad person and you don't fall under that category you are a good person you can work on your personality, you can work on your physical appearance, but you have to stop treating yourself like you are this absolutely, positively horrendous, deplorable person you are not. And once you get that through your head, then you'll stop overcompensating, you'll stop going above and beyond, and you'll stop feeling disappointed when people don't reciprocate the same effort. You're doing so much for people because you feel as though it'll get you the affirmation that you desire. It'll get you the friendship that you desire. It'll get you the relationship that you desire. And speaking of, validation from a man in the form of marriage does not automatically make you confident. Getting married is not going to fix your low self-esteem. Doing this to single women is not going to fix your low self-esteem. That's actually a very ugly and disrespectful insult. Just like if someone is married and they're pregnant and they're around another married woman who is not pregnant and they're rubbing their belly and they're just like, where's your baby? Where's your baby? Don't, like you're married and you're coming around single women talking about where's your ring? Where's your husband? Where's your man? Girl, that validation does not automatically make you a confident person. You have to be confident. You have to have that self-love for yourself before adding extra people into the equation. Not saying don't date if you're not, you know, 100% confident because there are plenty of people who are working on themselves. They're healing and in all these different things and they're still active in their friendships they're still active on their campus they're still active at their job they're still active in their dating life you know what i'm saying like you can still you can be a multifaceted person but what i am saying is if the self-esteem is below the pavement then you have to realize that relationships are hard work you're admiring somebody or you're jealous of somebody or you you aspire to be like somebody somebody has goals to you because of the relationships that they have but there's so much work involved. Why not work on yourself and put that same effort into yourself that you would pour into your spouse, that you would pour into your children? Would you want your child to be raised by somebody with low self-esteem? Would you want your child to have low self-esteem? Would you want to be a spouse to somebody 
or sorry, would you wanna be married to somebody who has low self-esteem? Would you want the person that you're married to to have to literally spend all night and all day affirming you and giving you validation and pouring pouring positive affirmations into you or can you do that yourself love yourself enough to know that like once you love yourself then other people can love you it's so easy you teach people how to love you when you love yourself the way people see how you treat yourself usually they follow suit usually but that's why you have to you know have that self-love and you have to have that self-confidence because you have to set boundaries there are going to be plenty of people that come into your life that are going to press your boundaries they're going to push you to see how far you're going to go they're going to come in and tell you that they don't like red lipstick they're going to come in and tell you that oh i don't like girls that wear makeup i don't like girls that wear weave i don't like girls that wear acrylic nails i like my women to be natural or they'll say like i like my women to to put more effort into their appearance they'll basically come in and tell you to be the exact opposite of who you truly are and i understand we're all multifaceted we can all take our weave out we can all take our nails off we can all take our makeup off we all can you know we can all be natural women and then there are some of us who like to be done up anyone who comes in and tells you like oh i don't like this i don't like that i dated a guy once who was like i don't like dark lipstick on you I'm gonna get these looks off, sir. I don't know what to tell you. Most of the time I am gonna be a new glossy girl because that's just the default, but I'm still gonna get these looks off. And there are going to be outfits and there are going to be occasions where a nice red lip with an ombre dark liner is really my steez. And that's just how it's gonna be. Now, mind you, that man wasn't my husband. I've never been married before. So I'm not gonna not wear dark lipstick because somebody who wasn't paying any of my bills somebody who wasn't paying my tuition somebody who wasn't paying my um paying for my books somebody who wasn't paying for my rent somebody who isn't going to determine where i spend eternity like i'm not going to stop wearing dark lips and i'm not going to stop getting these looks off because he didn't like dark lipstick on me so respect yourself have boundaries have standards and whenever you feel like those boundaries and standards are being violated whenever you feel like you're being disrespected whether it's in a friendship or in a relationship it doesn't matter friendships are relationships i just want to make that clear but i'm just making a distinction <laughs> um whenever you feel like you're being disrespected or somebody's completely ignoring your boundaries which is emotional abuse um or if you feel like somebody isn't living up to your standard then walk away and choose yourself. Something else that's really important is to watch what you say. Watch what you say. What you say and what you think, even by yourself, is a reflection of, well, it reflects outwardly, basically. It does. And somehow, some form, some facet, it always reflects outwardly. And like I said earlier, other people are just mirrors. So whenever you feel like you're about to gossip about somebody, whenever you feel triggered by somebody, whenever you feel um, just negatively about somebody, it's usually a mirror. And that's a perfect time for you to go in and say like, what is it about this person that is triggering me to the point that I feel so negatively? Cause it's cool to like not rock with somebody and you like not you don't speak negatively about them you know what i'm saying and last but not least don't fake it until you make it don't fake it until you make it i know a lot of people will say well fake confidence until you have confidence no don't fake confidence because it's absolutely nothing to have confidence it is a decision you can decide right now right the second while i am saying this you decide right now that you have confidence and you have confidence because you're the same one who decides if you don't have confidence you see how easy it is to make that decision to not be confident in yourself so why isn't it that easy to be confident in yourself it's easy peasy all you have to do is make the decision it's like the guy from the everest commercial you sit all day on the couch anyway make the call that'll change your life make the decision that'll change your life you sit around not being confident all day anyway make the decision that'll change your freaking life and just decide i'm gonna be confident who cares if my teeth aren't straight and they're not white? I don't care. I'm going to be confident. Who cares if my skin isn't clear? I don't care. I'm going to be confident. Who cares if my hair is sparse? I don't care. I'm going to be confident. Who cares if I, you know, am overweight? I don't care. I'm going to be confident. Who cares if I'm underweight? I don't care. I'm going to be confident. Like, 
you can still accept yourself for how you are and not care about not living up to society's beauty standards and not care what other people have to say about you it really matters what you say about you so you have acne is it uncomfortable yeah it really is but when you go out in public what do people do besides stare they may come up to you and recommend something for you and be like oh have you heard of proactive who but who cares who cares what is anybody physically doing to you that is stopping you from being confident you're the only one stopping you from being confident and like i said this in another video like i would rather people wreck their brain trying to figure out how someone that looks like you could be confident as opposed to believing what it is that they say you get a negative comment you don't have to clap back you don't have to defend yourself block them go on with your life fill in keywords so that when they leave a comment it looks like they left the comment but they really didn't so they're just sitting there talking to literally themselves people are going to be really rude really cruel really disgusting really evil they're they're gonna be trash some people are literally trash sometimes it's a projection of how they how of how poorly they feel about themselves sometimes they're just miserable sometimes they're just really mean um sometimes they went through a lot in childhood whatever other people's trauma whatever their pain whatever their issue is it's not it's not yours to carry it's not yours to bear so make the decision to be confident just like you make the decision to not be confident, flip the switch. Find traits about yourself that you like. Like I said, I love my smile. I think my teeth are beautiful. I love the way my body is shaped. I love how soft my skin is. Like there are things about myself. Oh, I love my nose. I think my nose is like super cute. <laughs> there are things about myself that I absolutely love. Personality wise, I love the fact that I remember people's names. I remember where I met them. I remember how I met them. Um, that just makes people feel really special and it makes me feel really happy that I'm able to make people feel special like that. And I love how nice I am. I'm actually very genuinely kind and very nice. I just am. And I love that about myself. I love how well-spoken and articulate I am. Um, I love the fact that I'm constantly reading, constantly doing research. I love my hunger for like knowledge and for education. And I love how good I am at doing makeup and the fact that I taught myself how to do it. Um, I love the fact that I can like touch up my own hair. I'm not perfect at it. No, I'm not as good as like a hairstylist that I would pay. No, but I'm not terrible at it either. And I love that about myself. I love the fact that like I'm willing to learn all the time new skills and, and things like that. I'm always really open to learning. And I'm trying to think what else I love about myself. I love how funny I am. I am hilarious. Okay, I'm funny. <laughs> I'm so funny. My sarcasm, my wit, my comedic timing. I love the fact that I don't really experience embarrassment. Um, that's really cool. Comes in handy. And I like the fact that I'm not shy. Like I'm, I'm introverted, but I can be very outgoing. And that's how I'm able to do things like this. You know, like I'm not shy at all. Like at all. <laughs> I've been making videos for a long time now. They haven't been on here, but I've definitely been making them. I love my my ability to memorize song lyrics. I know so many song lyrics. I have so many in my repertoire. It's amazing. I'm literally a genius. But you see how I'm like bigging myself up? There are things about myself that, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of. My skin is clearing up, so I'm really proud of myself for that. But even with my skin clearing up, there were times when I would go to the mirror and I would just like deep sigh, wash my face and just walk away. But now I go to the mirror every morning and whenever I look in the mirror and I'm just like, my skin is really clearing up. My skin is really clearing up. Like that's not a lie. That's not like some affirmation that I'm telling myself to trick my brain. My skin is really clearing up. <laughs> like it just is, you know what I'm saying? But I had to get to the point where I accepted the fact that like, yo, this is just what my skin looks like but it's skin, it'll clear up. I didn't look like this my whole life. I don't have to look like this for the rest of my life. And that goes for anything is in terms of like your physical appearance or even your personality. If there are things about yourself that you don't like, you don't have to be that way for the rest of your life. Nothing is a death sentence, nothing. Well, murder, but like, you know what I mean? Nothing, you're not trapped 
in this body um, and you can't change anything, you do whatever you want to do. But don't fake it until you make it. Start wearing clothes that make you feel good. Y'all know. If you know, if you know me, you know. I love getting dressed up. I love wearing heels for no reason. I love being extra. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just do. I love getting my nails done. I love getting my toes done. Pedicures really hurt me, but I love them. <laughs> it's just like that first part where they're like cleaning out the and cutting the nail and filing. Ooh, my toes are really sensitive. But anyways, I love my white toes and my ombre coffin shaped nails. I love it. I love being girly and feminine and just smelling amazing and just feeling beautiful and being extra. I have a whole video about like my favorite places to shop. I mostly like to shop online. I'll shop in the mall sometimes, but it's mostly online. I'll link that video up in the cards for you guys, but like wear clothes that make you feel good. What makes you feel beautiful? If it's like Adidas track pants and a long sleeve shirt and some, some sneakers, okay. That's what makes you feel confident. Whether you're an athlete or not, if that's the kind of clothing style that makes you feel confident, then that's what you wear. Full face or no full face, hair done or hair not done, who cares? What makes you feel confident? For me, it's getting dressed up, it's being all pretty and extra and smelling good. Like that. What that's what makes me feel like good. Um, I do have like my errands you know, my looks that I run errands in and I don't wear makeup those days. And I do wear sunglasses, but that's because, you know, I have dark under eyes and I wear SPF and I'm trying to like lighten up, you know, the darkness. Mind your business, mind your business. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'll wear, you know, sunglasses and like leggings. I love wearing leggings. Like I feel so cute in leggings because, you know, my booty pops or whatever severely. I just love leggings, okay? I love leggings and, and you know, wearing like a comfort, like this. this. This is just like a comfortable shirt. I can wear some biker shorts with this, wear some tennis shoes, and I'm good to go. With, whether or not my makeup was done or not, you know, I would still do a little, little something, something to my hair, but still, like, I'm good to go. So wear what makes you feel comfortable. And then also focus on your posture. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Stop slouching over and like trying to, scooch by in life stand up straight walk tall and when you're sitting down sit up straight i get asked so many times if i'm comfortable and i get told so many times to relax because of how straight i sit i don't sit like i'm like hoity-toity like you can't even tell how i'm sitting but okay anyways like when you sit down if you want to cross your legs like one leg over the other cross your legs that way if you're wearing heels and you want to cross your legs at your ankles cross your leg at your ankles just do what makes you feel beautiful. But when you're sitting, make sure that you are really like sitting up straight, girl. You are confident. You can lean back in your seat if you want to, you know, you can be comfortable, but sit up. And then lastly, pamper yourself. Self-care is a really easy way to build your self-confidence because it literally shows yourself how you value yourself and how much you really mean to yourself. So like I said, get your nails done, get your toes done, get your hair done, go get massages. Oh my God, I love a massage. Woo! Go get facials. Make sure you have like skincare products that work for you, whether they're from your esthetician or whether they're from your dermatologist. Get makeup products that you like. Teach yourself how to do like a full beat, you know? There are beginner friendly makeup tutorials, there are drugstore makeup tutorials, there are tutorials for people who your exact skin tone. There, there are all kinds of resources out there. Get into makeup if you feel like makeup is going to make you feel beautiful and confident. Drink your water, eat your fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are really gonna help you like glow you know from the inside and you know they're gonna help you glow outside as well and the more you like the better you feel the better you look you know drink smoothies drink organic cold pressed juices you see where i'm going here <laughs> wear perfume wear high heels if you're not somebody who is into getting dressed up first of all self-deprecating language cut it out all this i can't do my hair I can't do my makeup. I don't know how. I can't wear cute clothes. I don't know how to style myself. Cut that out. There's so many resources out there that will help you look your absolute best. Cut that out. Now, 
stop speaking about yourself as though you can't do anything are you a toddler no you can teach yourself how to do anything google is too free for you to act like you don't know how to do anything or you can't do something you can do anything you can do anything beyonce and jay-z taught us that but if these things that are like really feminine and girly if they're not your style then get some cute pajamas massage lotion into your skin after you exfoliate take bubble baths take you know longer showers just really get in there and like go get waxed you know that's always that's always cool a little painful laser a little painful but you know what i'm saying take care of yourself take yourself out yo have you ever made a dinner reservation for one at like a four or five star restaurant do it do it i dare you do it get dressed up like get ready like you're going out on a date but it's just you order the finest wine get a steak or if you're vegetarian or vegan get some veggies <laughs> and just enjoy being out enjoy your own company take yourself out on a date take yourself out on a date take yourself to breakfast take yourself to lunch take yourself out on a on a five star dinner date take yourself out take yourself shopping going shopping by yourself is really a mood if you haven't if you haven't done that make sure you do that the last few things make a vision board i like to make mine on pinterest because i get to search whatever images i'm specifically looking for instead of buying a bunch of magazines and doing a bunch of cutting that's really time consuming for me with pinterest everything is right there it's digital and you can um screenshot it and make it like your screensaver on your computer or you can just log on to pinterest every day and just scroll through you can make it private so nobody else can see it that's how i roll that's how i roll put stuff on your vision board that you want and constantly look at it and just like build yourself up don't get so focused on oh when i get that i'm gonna be so happy when i get that i'm gonna be confident okay when i get there when i get to this level of success when i achieve this goal when i do this when i do that don't get so wrapped up in your future self that you don't really love and appreciate and value who you are currently but making a vision board just really fine tunes what it is you really want and it and not seeing other people's vision boards is actually very helpful because you get to go in there and you get to type in whatever it is that you want and you get to customize it and make it specifically for you all that comparison crap is cut what is it that you want what goals do you want to achieve get rid of everybody else it's all about you make a playlist of your favorite songs make a playlist with songs that make you feel beautiful that make you feel like dancing and if you have a full body mirror pose in the mirror so that you can like take more full body pictures i don't care how you feel oh i don't feel like i am cute enough for full body pictures oh i'm not an instagram model oh i'm not an influencer wah, 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 wah. i don't care take more full body pictures take more selfies take more pictures your future self is going to thank you because can you do you remember how many pictures our parents had like remember the scrapbooks that they made and they would always go get pictures like uh, printed off at like Eckerd's and stuff like that throwback if you remember Eckerd's but like yeah like take pictures take pictures of yourself and lastly just be a baddie be a baddie and with that being said let's transition into this outfit because honey it's supposed to be a slime season like baddie blazer let's go <laughs> let's let's go be baddies let's go be bad <laughs> Thank you. 